That's the cops. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wes. How you guys been? How you doing? Today I'm going to be working on my uh, GY6 scooter, 150cc scooter. I've it's been on the channel a couple other times. But this time the, the clutch is coming apart. Uh, I found a clutch on eBay. And uh, I can show you, I got some pictures here of some of the stuff. I took it apart once just to kind of inspect it. And then I put it back together, just waiting for the part, you know, the long it takes for things to get here. So, um, first of all, I'll take you out for a little test drive. Maybe you can hear what I'm hearing. Uh, probably not, I don't know. But we'll see. So, let me get the scooter, and then we'll get a camera, and we'll go for a little test drive. All right. We're on like a little private kind of road here uh, this thing's totally rideable but from the like of pictures I showed you earlier uh, the clutch is a uh, nice little Chevy truck the clutch is out of balance uh, some of the pieces are of the it's like aluminum uh, it's really flatted in it seems like the pieces are falling off so I'm gonna show you if I can I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'll do my best in post to turn it up, but here we go. Speed up, get up to speed. Hear that? It's like, get, 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 get. Let me try it again. It's all like 25. See if I can do this. to the house uh, and we're going to start taking it apart and take a look at it and see what's going on. Yeah, I know you guys are keyboard warriors. I don't have a helmet on. Just for demonstration purposes only. If I go out on a real rip, Put a helmet on. You guys should too. All right. Let's start taking this thing apart. I set up a little table out here. I got some somewhere around here. I'm going to get my parts to see what we uh, got to work with. So, yeah. Alright guys, sorry about the wind. Nothing we can do about that. I've just got a few tools. i got some cheap sockets. Uh, you can use a ratchet but, and a screwdriver, but I've got a drill and an impact gun. And here's the clutch. I got this off eBay. I think it was Monster Scooter. Something like $25. Maybe I'll, uh, if I find a link, maybe I'll post it. But they're all pretty similar. 
this uh, 150 cc, but I don't know if you tell in those pictures, some of this aluminum here was coming loose. There's like plates under each one of the shoes, and this there's chunks of aluminum missing on every one of them. So over here, oh, I need some stuff. I've started uh, taking this apart already. Um, you got to get your air box out. I took some of the screws out. Our air boxes come out. But on this particular one, I don't know if you have a raquetta, but if you loosen the backrest, flip it up out of the way, and then undo the screws and get this panel off. And uh, oh yeah, I gotta cut that zip tie. So let me get this get this panel off, and then uh, we'll start tearing into the CVT of this GY6. Is it already going? Stupid camera. Stop. Okay, let me cut my third uh, screw off here. And I'll plug my light. I cannot find a lens for the life of me for this thing. Okay, yeah, there is another screw here I could not see. Jeez. Well, I think I'm going to leave it in place. Just now I can get to everything. I pulled it off once before without uh, without taking the air filter. Man, this thing is super dusty under here. So we'll start by I'm going to remove as many of these case screws as I can reach. Oh yeah, also kickstand, kickstart lever. Put that back in there. There's a good example of this. These are all a different size and which can be very frustrating so you just kind of keep them where they go uh, i'm using a piece of carpet Let's see i can't reach that one great i need an extension i'll be right back He's trying to whip me, boys. Uh, today, gotcha. And uh, earlier, like I said, just lay them all out, how they came off, and though as long as you don't kick it and step on it, it should go back together just like, just like that. The wind is not good for recording, but it sure feels good. Should just come off. Last time it kind of fought me a bit. Look like it's gonna do that this time too. Uh, okay. I took this off once before. There. I think this little bushing was fighting me. Yep. Yeah. Now I had a gasket. Uh, on there before but it just fell apart and I didn't feel like replacing it. I actually just put a little finger of uh, gray silicone on there it's kind of like a dust thing that just didn't work because it's super dusty so and this is this is the it's kind of backwards from a go-kart 
you know the driver and driven this one's driven and this is but this one's driven instead of being you know I don't know it's backwards from a go-kart so let's get I think this is a 17 yeah 17 you know I, I've never done one of these not once but I'm sure I can And yeah, here, here's the carnage. This chunk's missing. That's why it's making yeah, this one okay. Look at that. Doesn't want to go that way. Whatever. But now we got to get this off and the belt. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the front one off too. They're both off at the same time. Why not? I need to inspect it because if this one's messed up, this one might be messed up too. Yeah. That's way easier way to do that. It doesn't have the bearing bushing like a, a you know Comet 30 series or whatever. Oh. I wanted to look at this belt. Actually looks really good. Uh, I thought I'd have to replace that. I'm going to leave it like this because that's how it came off. And this is what we're after. Okay, I'm going to take you up to the table. And uh, I'm going to go find my socket or whatever I have that will fit this. And uh, yeah, let's go up to the table and take a look at this. Okay, on first glance they look very similar. He's got the little shoulders there, can you see? It's kind of hard to tell. The shoulders here. Dimensionally, they're like identical. So I think I bought the right part. So let me, uh, this is spring loaded. I might want to do this on the ground. But I'm gonna, you gotta push on this. And the way I've seen guys do it, they just put their feet on here. And then undo this nut. And then boom, it comes off. So. I'm going to go into my shop and see if I can find a socket for this. Alright. What I found, uh, I think it's actually 36 millimeter, but I have a one and a half inch socket. And it seems to fit really good. And imagine you could use a regular ratchet, but I'm going to use an air ratchet. Or air, electric impact. And from what I've seen, the guy just put his... It was funny, the video I seen, the guy was wearing flip-flops too, so maybe that's part of the procedure. And the nut comes off, and it, woo! It's like one of them, one of them things at the playground, you know? And this is a good opportunity. Somebody's got numbers written on here, I don't know what that means. But you could uh, buy kits, change out these springs... Everything else looks good. This looks like it's in pretty good shape. The spring looks fine. I think everything's going to be okay. I just need to get this clutch on. So, I'm not going to mess around. I'm not even going to cut away. Yeah, you got to have your flip flops. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! There's a lot of spring tension there. Okay. Uh, hold it tight. Thread it on as much as I can. Get out of the way, flip flop. Three Ugga Duggas. And we have a new clutch on there. Honestly, I think that's easier to do than... Uh, you know, like a 30 series CVT. All right, now I'm just going to install it. Maybe we'll do a little time lapse action. I don't know. We'll see.
Huh. I'll just squeeze it. Stuck it in there. I should get a little more length. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Kickstand came out. My fault. I'm trying to be in a hurry. But it's easy to get back in. Put a kickstand lever back on. Twist it a couple of times. As long as it didn't fall out completely, because there's a little spring it's got to hook on there. The thing's bang banging right here. What if I start there? Yeah, you gotta fidget with this kickstart to get it to line up. Okay, now I have all the bolts in order. I should be able to, besides this one. Zip them on real quick. Okay. What does this go to? Oh. Peaks the hand bolt. <laughs> um, let's put the air filter back on. Oh well. Like I said, when I got this thing, it was missing tons and tons of screws. Tons and tons of them. So all the screws that are in it are the ones I found. There it is. Now I just gotta go test it and see if it makes that sound. Alright guys, we're out on a uh, this final test drive here. This clutch is definitely not making any of those sounds like it was before. 
totally awesome. So uh, here in a little bit, I'll turn on the GoPro and see if I can kind of verify that with you. Tell me if you uh, hear it too. I don't hear it no more. But also, you know, I want to thank all you guys for watching and liking and subscribing. I've made a video in uh, about a month, you know, and uh, I've been super busy. And I'm still getting subscribers, which is cool. Where'd my sign go? There it is. So, uh, yeah. Let me uh, switch up to this uh, little GoPro thing I got and uh, see if I can get some some clips of uh, that sound not being there. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. All right. All right. Uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm going to get up to like 25 and let off. Sounds amazing. So we're gonna wrap this video up. I'll take you over to the table and I'll show you all the stuff we used. And uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. Well, here's the clutch that we removed. It's got pieces of aluminum coming off. Uh, there's still some good usable parts in here, springs and whatnot. So all the tools I ended up using today was uh, eight millimeter. Uh, for the case bolts, um, I use a 10 millimeter to pull the seat bracket off. You may not have to do that. And the Phillips, uh, just to take an air filter off. And then I used the 17 millimeter to get the clutches off. And then to remove the clutch, again I used a one and a half inch uh, socket, which I think is 36 millimeter. And a couple other things like. You may not have zip tied on panels, but whatever. Cool, so uh, I'm gonna wrap it up here. You guys made it this far, you guys are legends. All right, so uh, that wasn't too bad. Um, the wind's bad, but put the clutch on this thing. The hardest part actually is getting that case back on. Honestly, every, everything else went pretty smooth. I can already smell fireworks. It is zip up window. So just wait a second. Don't think uh, you can't do your own scooter. Like I said, that sound I heard, that's a good way to indicate something's up with your clutch. So if you're on the decel, if you hear like a g -g 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 -g, or some kind of weird chattering sound, chances are maybe your clutch is coming apart like mine. There right, you guys. Uh, I think that's enough footage for one video. So uh, you guys take it easy. all them mini bikes why do you have so many mini bikes man Oh, oh, oh.